Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of vlogging. I don't know why it started out like that, like a let's play video. But anyways, hello everybody, welcome to February 17, 2015. It's actually the next day, but I wanted to update you guys on something that I wasn't too sure until it actually uh, happened. So, this is the thing. So, <coughs> the, uh, today, the actual vlog date, uh, t the, what's what, Tuesday? Thursday? I don't know. Why did I say Thursday? What the fuck is that? I don't really know. Today is fucking, literally fucking Tuesday. Yeah, I was, I was right. Okay. So, Tuesday. I was supposed to get a Pacific package uh, that said it arrived. Oh, that's the thing. It said the package didn't arrive. Or, it, it, systematically, it said it arrived. Systematically. Physically, it wasn't here. I was freaking out. I thought maybe my family, you know, took the package or, or something, or, or or anything. So I was praying to God. I was like, okay, I have two options, really three. Wait another two to three days, because it said it arrived, you know, that day, which actually did deliver by reasons. Uh, the next two or three days, or uh, you know, contact a seller, <coughs> or literally send a request saying I didn't receive my item. <coughs> so I heard I thought I heard something. So basically I went with contact the seller. I told him, hey, is there any way you can possibly help before I take actions? I don't I didn't say it like that to him to take actions part. But I was like, hey, is there any possible way we can track where it actually went? It says it's delivered, but does it say when or, or when and where it was delivered? I mean it says the address, but maybe it was like mistaken for my neighbor's house or something. I was gonna think that. And he, he who's uh, the he or she did said the exact same thing what I just said. I'm like, okay. So now I'm gonna go to my neighbor's house, but I'll do it tomorrow just to be sure if it's not here today. So realistically, now tomorrow, uh, it arrived. So the package that was, or the package that was lost has been found. Weirdly enough, it said it was already here yesterday, but it was not here physically, but systematically, yes. <sighs> Everything I just said systematically and physically, that's actually just something I say a lot at work. A lot. Because of this whole new system they're doing, which is not really working out all that well for several reasons, but there are some things that actually is working well, pretty well. Anyways, um... So the thing I received will be, you know, of course, in the title. Not sure about the thumbnail, but um, is actually one of the longest running games I've actually been trying to find. Like, I don't know why. I mean, I just haven't tried getting it for the price it was before back in then. The, the, I think the price for this game was about twenty-five plus dollars or more. To me, in my opinion, this game didn't feel like it. It felt less, which it finally did price drop sometime after giving up on not looking up on the game for a long time. And then looked up again, it price dropped a lot, so I was happy about that. So the game I am talking about, if you don't already know, is Custom Robo Arena. Custom Robo Arena. It's a sequel to Custom Robo... Sorry, Custom, Custom Robo for the Nintendo GameCube, which I personally do have for the GameCube, but I don't have it uh, with its casing manual so you know i'll be fine with just the case but i don't have the case for it so there's some games i don't have the case for like legends of the what wind waker billy hedge and the giant eggs Zoo monkey ball uh metro prime 2 echoes and just a couple of the games i really want to get my uh cases for so yeah i know if i ask anyone out there in the world on the youtube no one can ever send to me one but there's always hope. I mean, there's always hope. I mean, I haven't seen like the same games. Like, oh man, I, I, there's that game, but I already have the game. I just want the freaking case, but I know they're never gonna sell it to me like that. So, I always have to buy the game to get the case. I mean, I did that once with one game, and that's Rugrats World Ransom because the game was fucking two dollars. So I sold my GameCube like loose version of the game, and I just kept the physical complete version of the game. So whatever. <clears throat> so custom Robo Arena. I'm glad I finally have it. Uh, here it is. Uh, the one thing I, I can change it really simply. Like it's not even that big of a problem. Uh, is this the little pin that will keep it in place? It's 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 gone. 
I don't know if you can see. I don't, I don't think it's actually doing it well. Well, good job, Shadow. I'm gonna turn to show freaking. There you go. So it's it's like that, you know. That's supposed to be sticking out. Wait, it kind of is. It kind of is. You can't even really. Maybe you can a little bit. Supposed to stay in, not out, or whatever. So it's complete. It's almost complete. Just missing the manual, whatever. But. I'm very glad I finally got this amazing hidden gem of a game. Uh, like I said, I knew about Custom Robo Arena for years. I just never really picked it up. And I don't know why I never picked it up. Uh, I think I saw only any... Basically... Uh, <laughs> I, I think I seen basically twice in my whole entire uh, lifetime of seeing it, if that makes sense. Uh, I once saw it, like, for brand new, you know, at GameStop or something. Or Walmart, I don't remember which one. And then, uh, you know, I actually did see it on GameStop. A used copy was like 30 or something dollars at the time. I was like, no. I'd still rather get, I don't know what I was thinking at the time. So, I'd rather get whatever else. And I got that whatever else probably. So, uh, now, trying to look it up on, uh, you know, the internet. You know, eBay, Amazon, and Newegg and such. I was trying to see if, you know, it has, the, has the price gone past price dropped down since seeing it at GameStop it, it, a little bit, and I was like, I still don't want it, and then a little bit more, I was like, still don't want it, and finally the price dropped to a certain uh, amount I feel comfortable with, so I got it for, I believe, 11 or $12, so that's pretty good. The game loose is like super cheap, I think it's less than 10 or 8 now, I think, so that's great, I, I love that. I mean, like I said, not a lot of people know about Custom Robo, Robo Arena, so I, I'm glad I got it, so... I'm, I'm glad to add it to my video game collection. Talking about video game collections, by the way, um, I actually went to game stuff to buy two more games. I really I shouldn't have. I, I'm seriously the way I am trying to actually save my money for Swami uh, visits again. Because I mean that Sony's vlog was amazing for video games. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna tell you that right now. It's amazing for video games. I got. Ton of shit I didn't realize I was gonna get. I'm glad for it. So now I feel like I'm gonna do it again with some trade baits because there is some game I'm actually am considering, you know, training for the PS3 version again. Like uh here's an example, like Persona 4 Arena. I already own Persona 4 Arena on uh oh, sorry, the sequel, Ultimax, Ultimax, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax for the PS3. I also want to get Persona 4 Arena, the original one, on the PS3 as well, so I might trade Persona 4 Arena for the 360 for the PS3 version, if I can find the PS3 version, if they want to just do it straight up a trade like that. Like I did with Assassin's Creed, but if not, I have to probably sell it, like I did with Dynasty Warriors, Gundam, and Final Fantasy 13, and then eventually get it down the line of buying it again. The reason I actually went to GameStop was to see if they actually had a copy of Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Not Final Fantasy 13, I mean, it was there, I saw it there, but I mean... I didn't want it yet. <clears throat> I was trying to get it for a copy of Dynasty Warriors Gunner for the PS3. They had one copy. One thing that was wrong with it. Only one thing. And if you know me, I can't buy it without it. It has to have its original artwork in case. And, well, not its case. but Any case, but original artwork it has to have. I have to have that case. I, mean, I have to have that original artwork. You know, the cover. I have to have the cover. I didn't have the cover. The game was going for super cheap. I was like, damn, why the fuck haven't I bought it yet? So, I'll be looking for it at, uh, Swami's, at a local GameStop, seeing if they have a copy of it, because the game is five fucking dollars, and I wanted to get for sure to PS3. I'm not sure if it's just a recent price drop, or just a temporary price drop, but I want to get it for that much, or ten dollars, five, ten dollars, it's fine with me, because I love Dynasty Warriors Gundam. A franchise, by the way. So, uh, other games I'm thinking maybe to do is... I want to say Deus Ex Human Revolution. But the thing is, I probably really don't care for it. I mean, I'm not, not saying I hate the game franchise. It's just that I don't really know much of the franchise. I got it for a very cheap price. So, it, getting on a PS3 version, it's also as well as a cheap price. So, it's not really that much of a concern for me. Plus... The sequel game has never been released for other uh, actual video game consoles, not like freaking PCs. So, that's realistically a thing. Yeah. Sorry, anyways. Uh, 
I actually was trying to look through my video game collection and see what else I could, you know, do trade baits for. And Persona 4 Arena old, uh, Original is one of those options. There is Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge is an option. But I'm like, maybe not. But I don't know. Persona 4 Arena makes more sense than anything. Uh, now, there was an argument in my mind. I was like, okay. I have two gener I have two copies of Sonic Generation for the uh, PS3 and 360. Should I just sell one? I say no. Um, <clears throat> reason. Sonic Generations was my biggest pumped up, most excited game outside of Nintendo that was going to be on a PS3 or 360 console, other than Halo and Gears of War. And to me, that's like amazing. I got the three. I got the 360 version like maybe a month or two later since its release, and I played the shit out of that. I 100 percent of the game. Or whatever, and I was really excited for it. And then, uh, what, two years or whatever later, I eventually got it again for this PS3 at uh, the Swam Meet, the actual same Swam Meet, on uh, for like ten dollars, and I was really excited. And I actually would like to let's play this PS3 version because I haven't beaten it yet. So I will let's play that sometime in the way way future. Don't know when, just sometime in the future. And I was just looking at all my other, like, hey, what else can I maybe trade bait that I really don't care for? Uh, don't know. So, I don't know. Hello? Oh, dear. So, other than that, I'm looking at some of my games. I mean, there's Hot Wheels Turbo Racing for the N64. Don't even know how much that goes for. I really don't. So, I have to look up on the internet to see how much he goes for and maybe I won't get ripped off for a price. So that's the thing. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, the, the, the thing I said I was trying to tell you, the two games I got as well uh, from GameStop, I haven't tried them out yet, so I was really depressed on not getting Cousin Robo Arena thinking in my mind, anything can happen to it now, is uh, two games. One I knew about, one I didn't even know about, so... I was, I, was, I was surprised on one of them, and the second one, I was like, I really don't know if I wanted it, and I fucking bought it anyway, so I'm stupid. So maybe I'm stupid, maybe I'm not. But I bought Dead Rising 2 off the record for, well, like 19 or something dollars, and Worms the Revolution Collection for, like, you know, $13 or something. So I think I did pretty uh, well, especially with Worms the Revolution Collection. I didn't even really know this was a collection. Now... I actually do have a theory on one thing. And one thing, one thing. So, I actually gotta check something. Okay, so Worms, I actually have a collection already for Worms. It's called Worms Collection for the 360. It has the original Worms, Worms, Ultimate Mayhem, and some other Worms game. What is it though? Worms. Here we go. Worms, Worms, Ultimate Mayhem, and Worms 2 Armageddon. So here's the probably downside on that. So Worms, the Revolution Collection, already has Worms 2 Armageddon and Worms Revolution. So one new game plus Worms 2 Armageddon. So Worms Armageddon, Worms 2 Armageddon, I already got three times now. I mean, I just got it recently on, on a Dreamcast at Swamp Meets. I got it on a 360 for digital... Uh, not digital for its collection base ways, and I'll have it again for another collection base way. So that is the third time having that game <laughs> I've never played. So <clears throat> that is a thing. And uh, Dead Rising 2 off the record, it looks more interesting to me because I know who Frank West is than uh, the other guy. I was her Chuck something, but I know who he is. I'm actually more excited to play this game other than the original and I will get the original uh, Dead Rising 2 someday, but possibly for the Xbox 360 because I already have Dead Rising the original on the 360. Plus I think it might have been only for, only for 360, but I might be wrong about that. Anyways, uh, that, that, that's probably really for, for today. So, I did say in yesterday's vlog I would continue watching uh, Kill a Kill uh, I would say part two, but I'll probably say that in tomorrow's vlog because I didn't feel like I did really much on Kill a Kill. Even though realistically I probably did like five episodes more, but it was really just fillers and then 
like one major thing, but it was like in part one marathon of Kill a Kill. So that's really it for today. Everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave below, and let's do a recap. So we got Custom Robo Arena for waiting a day, thinking it was not here, and then it was here, and then it was found or something. I don't fucking know. And then. Uh, we got Dead Rising 2 off the record for the PS3, which I've not tried out yet. And the Worms Revolution Collection on the PS3, which I've, I've also have not tried out yet. So, realistically, I got three good games. Um, well, two two good games and a collection. <laughs> so, I'm excited for that. And um, I got to start saving up money for Xenoverse. I mean, that I didn't realize how close we are to the 24th. I really didn't realize. So, once again, everybody, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay?